Well, last night we introduced you to a Kentucky man who puts fitness as a top priority, really quite literally the difference for him between life and death. LEX 18's Evan Leak helps us work through his full story that starts and ends with taking care of yourself. For some people, the gym is like a sanctuary, an escape from everyday struggles. I started lifting, you know, I come to the gym now four or five days a week. For Rocco Besignac, lifting weights. The first day I was in the gym, you know, I was in there for two and a half hours straight. Lifts stress off his shoulders. After going to the gym just once or twice, my mental health improved dramatically. Rocco's no stranger to physical fitness. For years, staying in shape was vital to his role in the Navy and as a Shepherdsville police officer. I started seeing the impacts of drugs on people's families. When I would catch, you know, people who are drug addicts, um, I would talk to them. I'm actually friends with quite a few of them who, you know, reached out after the fact and told me, you know, I'd essentially save their life. That duty to protect and serve was stolen from Rocco in 2016 in a traffic stop gone wrong. I ran the plate and showed that the driver had a suspended license. We come to find out she had about three or four felony warrants. I bent over to try to get the keys out of her hand and uh, I got stuck between the steering wheel and her with the door open. She dragged me about 50 feet, made a right hand turn. I rolled out the door, um, hit the curb on my upper back and neck and she ran over my legs. Rocco had four herniated discs each in his neck and lower back. He's undergone eight spinal surgeries since that day, but he's still here thanks to his body. The doctor actually told me, he said if I wasn't the size I was, I would either been dead or paralyzed from the neck down. Rocco had to retire from the force because of his injuries. For years, he felt depressed, suicidal, like he didn't have purpose in life. But once he was able to get back in the gym, Rocco felt reborn. I was seven years thinking I'd thinking never be able to do that again. It was like being able to be the old me again. And the old Rocco still wanted to help people. That's why he started Camp Hero, a safe space for injured veterans and first responders to come and feel cared for. If you don't have bad days, you won't have anything to compare your good days to. I use that as my motivation just to make it through, and um, I know how many people I'm helping with what I'm doing. Strong enough to climb out of rock bottom and pull everyone else along with him. In Lexington, Evan Leak, LEX 18 News. The person who ran over Rocco seven years ago was eventually found and arrested. If you want to learn more about Rocco's work with Camp Hero, you can find out more on our website, lex18.com.